வெல்கம் டு மை சேனல் நம்ம இன்றைக்கி பார்க்க போகிறது நைன்த் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் ஜியோகிரஃபி ஃபிஃப்த்து லெசன் பயோஸ்பியர் அந்த லெசனோட புக் பேக் எக்ஸசைஸ் தான் நம்ம இன்றைக்கி பார்க்க போகிறோம் The coldest biome on earth is Tundra. Option A is the correct answer. This is the smallest unit of biosphere. Option A, ecosystem is the correct answer. Third one, nutrients are recycled in the atmosphere with the help of certain microorganisms referred to as option D, none of the above. To which climatic condition are xerophytic plants specifically adapted to dash? Option A, saline and sandy is the correct answer. Fifth one, why is the usage of rainforest biomes for large scale agriculture unsustainable? Option D, because the soil is poor. Next one, assertion, heterotrophs do not produce their own food. Reason, they depend on autotrophs for their nourishment. Option A, both assertion and reason are true. Reason explains assertion. Is the correct answer. Assassin, hot spots are the regions characteristic by numerous endemic plants and animal species living in the vulnerable environment. Reason, to manage and focus on conservation work more effectively, researchers identified hot spots. Option A, both assassin and reason are true. Reason explains assassin is the correct answer. Assertion, the number of gorillas in Africa has plummeted by 60% in past 20 years. Reason, non-intervention of human beings in the forest areas. Option C, A is true or is false is the correct answer. Filling the blanks, an area which animals, plants and microorganisms live and interact with one another is known as ecosystem. DAS are also called as heterotrophs, consumers. DAS is a system of interlocking and independent food chains, food web. DAS is an ex extensive large ecosystem, biome. The vegetative type of commonly found in desert biome is called xerophytes. DAS is an aquatic biome found in desert biome is called xerophytes. DAS is an aquatic biome that is found where the fresh water and salt water what is biosphere? Biosphere, the fourth sphere of the earth is near life, supporting layer that exists on earth's surface. This layer on earth encompasses the lithosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere. It includes flora and fauna that thrive on or near the earth's surface. What is an ecosystem? Ecosystem is the community where all living organisms live and interact with one another. It also interacts with their non-living environment such as land, soil, air, water, etc. What does the term biodiversity mean? The biodiversity or biological diversity refers to the wide variety of living organisms which live in habitat. It is highly influenced by topography, climate as well as the human activities. It maintains the ecological balance and facilities and social, tourism, education, research etc. over an area. What is mean by loss of biodiversity? The extension of species, flora and fauna due to human and natural influences is called loss of biodiversity. The biodiversity loss has a great impact of mankind and also affects land, water, air, etc.
Mention the various terrestrial biomes. Terrestrial biomes is a group of living organisms that live and interact with one another on land. They are mainly determined by temperature and rainfall. Some of the major territorial biomes of the world are tropical forest biome, temperature grassland, tropical savanna, tundra biome, desert biome. Next one, give reason. Producers are also called autotrophs. The organism that can produce in own food using light, water, carbon dioxide or other chemical present in the environment is known as producers. Producers are self-nourishing components of the ecosystem. Hence, they are called as autotrophs. Biosphere provides a stable ecosystem. Ecosystem ranges in size from the smallest unit that can sustain life to the global ecosystem or ecosphere. Biosphere harbors all ecosystem on the earth and sustains life forms including the mankind. Therefore, biosphere provides the stable ecosystem. Next to one, producer and decomposer. Producer, they are self-nourishing components of the ecosystem. The organisms are incapable of preparing its own food. Producers are also known as autotrophs. Decomposers are also known as saprotrophs. For example, plants, algae, bacteria, fungus, mushrooms. Terrestrial biome and aquatic biome. Terrestrial biome. Terrestrial biome is a group of living organisms that live and interact with one another. Aquatic biome is a group of living organisms that live and interact with one another in aquatic environment. They are mainly determined by temperature and rainfall. Aquatic biome are influenced by the series of abiotic factors. Tropical vegetation, desert vegetation. Tropical vegetation found between 10 degree north and 20 degree south of the equator. Desert usually between 20 degree and 30 degree north and south latitude. The climate shows little seasonal variation with high rain, rain, rainfall and constant high temperature. The annual rainfall less than 25 temperature and maximum throughout the year. Samnas and tundra, samnas grassland are generally found between tropical forest and desert. Tundra regions are found, ground remain frozen. Cheap occupation of the people, uh, people is herding. Hunting and fishing is the major occupation of the people. For example, lion, leopard, tiger, polar bear, snowy owl, etc. Explain the various components of the ecosystem. Ecosystem is the community where all living organisms live and interact with one another and also with the non-living environment. Abiotic components, biotic components, energy component. Abiotic component include the non-living, inorganic, physical and chemical factors in the environment. Example, land, air, water. Biotic components include plants, animals and microorganisms. My biotic components can classify into three categories. Autotrophs, heterotrophs, decomposers. Autotrophs are self-nourishing components of the ecosystem. They are called producers. Heterotrophs are those depend on the producers directly or indirectly. Decomposers are some organisms that are incapable preparing their own food. These are also called as saprotrophs. Energy components. All organisms in the biosphere use energy to work and convert one form of energy into another. The sun is the ultimate source of energy for fire biosphere as the whole. Solar energy gets transformed into another forms of energy through the various components in the ecosystem. The producers, consumers and the decomposers contribute the lot of energy flow in the ecosystem. Write a paragraph on the functions of ecosystem. The living organism form an interacting set of flora and fauna which are organized into tropical levels, food chains and food webs. The functioning of an ecosystem depends on the pattern of the energy flow as it helps in the distribution and circulation of the organic and inorganic matter within an ecosystem. Energy flow generally takes place in the hierarchical order in an ecosystem through various levels. These levels are called tropic levels. The chain of transformation of energy from one group of organisms to another through various tropic levels is called as food chain. The system of interlocking and interdependent food chain is called a food web.
explain about the aquatic biome on earth aquatic biome is a group of living organism that live and interact with one another and its aquatic environment for nutrition and shelter like terrestrial biome aquatic biome are influenced by the series of biotic factors it is bro broadly classified as freshwater biome and marine biomes Freshwater biome comprises lake, ponds, river streams, wetlands. It is influenced by various abiotic components such as volume of water, water flow, composition of oxygen, temperature, etc. Human rely on freshwater biome for drinking water, crop irrigation, sanitation and industry. Trot, salmon, turtles, crocodiles, etc. are the animals found here. Marine biome. Marine biome is the largest aquatic biome on earth. It provides a wide range of habitats for marine plants and animals. Coral reefs are the second kind of marine, marine biome within the ocean. Estuaries, coastal areas where the salt and water and fresh water mixed for the third unique marine biome. Apart from animals, plants such as help, algae, etc. also grown in water. Aquatic biome are not only important for plants and animals but also for humans. Humans use aquatic biome for water, food and leisure activities. Some of the threats and issues to aquatic biome are overfishing, pollution and a rise in the sea level. The video will be completed. The next lesson video will be uploaded soon. Thank you for watching my channel. If you like my video, you will like, share and subscribe my channel.